Hey Patreon pals, welcome to your June Patreon exclusive tutorial video that you voted for for this month is how to create a seamless carousel inside in Adobe Illustrator. So that is what we are going to dive into today. Let's go ahead and open up Adobe Illustrator and get straight into this tutorial. Okay, here we are in my Adobe Illustrator workspace. You can see some of my recent files here, including the artwork that I created in this month's YouTube video where I showed you a step-by-step -step guide on how to vectorize your Procreate artwork. If you wanna hit pause here and go and learn how to vectorize your artwork before you create your seamless carousel, I have linked it down below in the description of this video. But today we are going to be creating a seamless carousel post and I'm gonna show you how I do that in Adobe Illustrator. Now there are ways to do this in Procreate. There are a few hacks or like way around creating like a seamless carousel using Procreate and Instagram and maybe some cropping tools. And I have a couple of videos on my YouTube channel already that show you how to do this. So if you wanna go ahead and watch them, I'll also put them in the description under this video. This is the only foolproof way that I have found for creating a seamless carousel that is truly seamless and flawless and there will be no slight little bits of the illustration that are in the wrong place or misaligned or cropped incorrectly. So if you really want a beautiful seamless carousel post, this is the way to do it. Inside in Adobe Illustrator, we are going to create a new file. We're gonna set it up to be the correct proportions for an Instagram vertical post, a width of 1080 of 1350 pixels. Next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to choose how many slides we want in our carousel, and that's gonna be our number of artboards. For this carousel, I'm gonna create four slides to keep it nice and simple. And then I'm also gonna make sure that my bleed is turned off. I don't wanna have bleed on my artboards for a seamless carousel, cause I do want them to butt together, um, which we're gonna see when we get into Adobe Illustrator. Next thing that you wanna check is your color mode. That will be hidden in advanced settings if, you are, if you're new to using Adobe Illustrator and you've never created a custom artboard before. Um, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that for an Instagram post that it is set to RGB color mode because that is the color mode for anything that you are creating for the purposes of it being displayed on the screen. Uh, raster effects is set to high, so that's gonna be a nice high resolution file when we export it and that is all we need to know. I'm gonna click create and then it's gonna go into my workspace inside in Adobe Illustrator. So now you can see the four artboards. These are gonna become the four sides of my carousel. Right now they are absolutely used to, useless to me because they are rearranged in this grid and I want them to be in a straight line so I can build my carousel on these different artboards and then export these artboards separately. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to click on the artboard tool over here, which is this little one that looks like a resize button. And that's gonna open up my artboard settings. And then I'm gonna click on this button up here, which says rearrange all. I want to rearrange my artboards in the layout of them all straight across. And then I wanna reduce this spacing down to zero. I want no space in between my artboards. Then I'm gonna click okay and now it has arranged them perfectly in a straight line across the workspace with no gaps between the artboards. So this means we can start to build our seamless carousel. We know that where the lines are here, these are gonna be the different slides in our carousel. We're gonna be able to export each piece of this and then build it together back in Instagram without any seams. The next thing that we're gonna need for our carousel are some elements to add to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a recent file with just some vector art that I created for different patterns that I was building. And I'm gonna use these as the elements in my carousel post. The other thing that I've imported here is my color palette. I have just a file in Procreate with my color palette as just like little swatches of the different colors from my brand color palette. And I just copied that layer and paste it into working Adobe files so that I have a reference for color matching. So I am now going to create the background for my carousel. I'm gonna make it super simple on myself and have one block color in the background. I'm gonna use my rectangle tool and I'm just going to 
create a rectangle that goes beyond the edge of the artboards and that's going to become the background and then I'm going to use my eyedropper to set the background as one of the colors from my color palette. I think I'm going to go with this pink but I'm going to adjust it slightly so that it's a little bit lighter so that elements that are already in that pink don't disappear on the palette. Now I'm going to begin placing my different elements on this carousel. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to place them in places so that you can see how they will crop and then come back together inside an Instagram. I'm not going to like create a proper carousel, so you could obviously go ahead and add some text, but I'm going to just wait. <laughs> I'm going to first make sure that my rectangle is at the back of all of my layers and also I'm going to lock it so that it doesn't move around. Now I'm going to just go ahead and place my elements in different places on my carousel. Okay, so here is my little carousel design. Obviously it has no text or no quotes or like no sense to it at all. It's just for the purpose of this demonstration, but it does kind of look like the swatch of a pattern. So I'm actually thinking as I'm creating this, it would be a really cool way to show off a pattern like in an up close way. Now I'm happy with my carousel. I'm gonna pretend that I've added all of the other elements I would normally add to a piece of artwork that I'm sharing on my Instagram and I'm going to export it as it is. So to export it, I'm going to click on file and then I'm going to click export and export for screens. Then this is going to show me all of my artboards. Now you can see that they are separated and I can select which one of them I would like to export. Obviously I want to export all of them. So I'm going to leave them all selected. Then I can choose the format that I want to export them in. These are going to Instagram. So you can either use a PNG or a JPEG format. I personally prefer PNG because they just seem, they're just usually higher resolution files. And I'm going to leave the scale as one X. You could add a scale, which means that you can export the same piece of artwork in a high, slightly higher resolution or like a higher scale, bigger size, um, but I'm going to leave it as it is. And then I'm going to, if you're going to click on the folder to choose the location that you want to export it to, I'm just going to export it to my downloads for now, just so that it's easy for me to find. And finally, I'm going to click export artboard. So it's just going to tell me it's exported successfully. So I can open up my finder and click on my downloads and up here you can see the different boards from my artwork. You can open them up with the previewer and there you can see again like the different boards that make up this carousel. And right now they're not looking like anything special but we're going to bring them into Instagram and this is where the magic is going to happen. So I'm going to select them all here in my downloads. I'm going to click on the share button and I'm going to airdrop them over to my iPhone. Now here on my iPhone, they have imported to my camera roll. They're still in the wrong order. So you can't really see the carousel effect yet. And also we do get this kind of like gap in between images on the camera roll anyway. So what we're going to do is we are going to open up Instagram and we are going to create a new post. I'm going to click that plus sign to create a new post and now we can see them inside in our gallery and they are starting to line up and you can see that they do look like a carousel post so i'm going to select the multiple images little tab here and i'm going to select them in the order of the carousel which they now are in inside in our gallery when i have them all selected i'm going to tap on next and now we can see the images in our carousel starting to come together I'm not going to apply a filter, so I'm gonna click next again. And now I'm gonna do a little preview to check that they actually are a seamless carousel post and lining up correctly. So I'm gonna tap on any of these little screens here. And when I slide across, you can see that all of the slides join up together and there is no like, there's no misalignment. It is absolutely seamless. And there you go. That is how you create a truly seamless carousel post 
in Adobe Illustrator. Obviously, you can import your artwork from Procreate and vectorize it to create a beautiful piece of art in a carousel. You also don't have to vectorize it. You can just copy and paste artwork and paste it into uh, Adobe Illustrator and build your carousel just like I did. I hope that you found this mini tutorial helpful. If you did, go ahead and click the like on Patreon or the thumbs up on YouTube. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click subscribe to my YouTube channel as well so that you get notifications when new videos go up over there. Let me know in the comments under this post, either on Patreon or on YouTube, if you are going to be using the tips in this tutorial to create your own carousel post and and if you do, please, please, please tag me on Instagram to show me your seamless illustration and artwork creations because I can't wait to see what you come up with.